Uh, simplism. Simplism? Simpl. I have to Google it. Simplism. Hi, it's Oprah. Welcome back to my channel. It's the challenge of the week. Uh, last week I skipped the English video because I just don't have energy to do like a lot of things. Today I'm back, so it's the challenge of the week. It's the English video of the week. And I just woke up, it's already 11 o'clock because I was editing a video till 3 o'clock last night. I'm feeling so exhausted this week and I'm determined to clean my room because my room is such a mess now. It's like in unbelievable messy now. Uh, right now I have at least five bugs laying on my uh, laying on my floor just because I don't want to throw it out. I don't want to like tear it apart because the package is so pretty and the wrapping is so delicate. To me, this is the issue, you know. Back of the day when I was PR and marketing executive for the brand, uh, we don't really have that much budget for the PR package. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just don't know. Ugh. And I'm going to Baoya today because I want to buy the brand called Nailholic. A lot of people have been recommended me to buy the Nailholic and Integrate nail polish because they say for the price range and for the quality, these two brands are pretty good. So I'm going to buy the nail polish. Maybe I will film a video while I was putting on the nail polish because I suck at nail polish. This is what I'm talking about. It made my room so messy and it made me so crazy till the point I don't want to sleep in my room because the last two days I've been sleeping in my sister's room because I just feel like this room is not my room, it's not my sleeping area, you know, because my room now is my uh, sleeping area slash editing room slash filming studio slash uh, makeup room so it gets pretty crazy. I'm gonna fix it today I'm gonna try to organize everything and storage everything and put everything in place because uh, this is just not gonna work for me that is the first thing I need to fix in my hair <laughs> my hair is so crazy right now so I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna fix that box <sighs> okay let me show you the giant box I got from the brand <sighs> this one I already know what's inside, so there's no surprise for me because uh, some of the YouTubers and Instagrammers has already shared this post uh, on their Instagram. Um, it's really pretty. It's like beyond surprise, but uh, to me, it's just way too much. The weight is pretty light because it's balloon and light and some lipsticks in there, but for me, it's just such a waste because I have to throw it out. There's no way I can store it. I just finished my shower and now I have to do some work. It's already 12.25. I'm gonna eat and boil egg and some kiwi. And then I'm gonna do some work. <gasps> I've been trying out this uh, simplism. Simplism? Simple. I have to Google it. Simplism. Yeah, simplism. I've been cutting out all of other skincare uh, products that I own, including this Polas Choice Skin Re Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. You guys know how I loved it, how it brightens up my skin, how it cleans up my skin. Uh, but since I uh, decided to try Simplism's one, I kind of cut this off because I wanted to know how it works on me. And so far, I feel it. Uh, it actually calmed my skin down and it made my skin pretty stable. It made my skin pretty smooth and calming my skin down a lot. But I do find out that once I use this, my skin gets a little bit drier than before. So I have to focus on uh, hydrating after this too. So, so I'll be using this uh, Verse Gardenia's Rice Hydrating Mask first. Then I'll apply this too. And then I'll go ahead to put on some makeup. Okay, I finished my skincare routine now. I feel like my skin being really bright, but I still have some 
like acne around my nose, around my nose because around my mouth, around my nose because I been lack of sleep. <laughs> Like last night, I was editing till three o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna put on my foundation today. And yes, I'm in the living room. I'm in the living room because my room is such a mess. I don't want to do my makeup in my room. I'm gonna do this L'Oreal 24 Hours Foundation Infallible one. Highly recommended this foundation for you if you are uh, oily to. Combina if you're a combination to oily skin, the next one is definitely one to go because um, first it covers up your pores and the coverage is like medium to high coverage and with this kind of foundation, um, it's a matte finish one so it doesn't make your face look too shy and it stay on your face for like good five to six hours. You just need a tiny little uh, powder foundation to set in the center of your face, then you're good to go. And I've been loving these two combination. This one is the foundation brush from Echo Tools. Um, I've been using this for three days now and I've been loving it. I love how I apply this foundation on my face because this foundation is pretty dry. So if you are dry skin, I won't recommend this foundation to you. But if you are a combination to oily skin, definitely try this on winter time because it's great. It's pretty good. So now I'm gonna apply my foundation on my face. And I'm gonna do half of my face first because this foundation dry out really fast. You don't want the foundation to dry out on your face, right? Oh, the lighting is pretty bad. It doesn't absorb too much. Uh, foundation into your brush, not like Beauty Blender. If you're using Beauty Blender or any kind of sponge for your foundation, it definitely, you definitely need more foundation. It definitely corrects my uh, discoloration and the coverage is medium to high. So if you want to layer up, it's definitely buildable. And I like how it's like covers up my pores but it doesn't make my uh, foundation look pretty cakey or too much. The minute I got this package, I just don't feel like this is the right things to do. I just don't feel like I can be happy to open this package because somehow I just feel pretty heavy to even open or even happy about this package because it's like it is just way too much. I opened the package and I'm gonna show you the exact product itself, how small it is. So, first is the eyeshadow palette. I'm not gonna show you the brand. I got two eyeshadow palettes and I got one, two, three, four, five. I got like 12 eye, 12 lipsticks and that's it. I wrap it with like this pretty uh, snowflakes uh, light and Christmas ball and a bunch of this stuff. Don't get me wrong, this is a pretty package. This is a really good Christmas gift, but um, I'm, I'm a small YouTuber, small Instagrammer compared to like 100,000 subscribers YouTubers. Um, I don't get that much PR gifts from the brand, but recently I've been received few of the PR package from different brands, from skincare to cosmetics to any kind of different industrial. But this kind of over packaging, it just made me realize, made me feel like uh, it doesn't help me to understand this brand. It doesn't make me want it to learn about this new product. It just made me feel like, oh, I'm surprised. Oh, wow, what a fancy wrapping technique. But it doesn't help me to understand this brand. I don't know this strategy. I don't know who started it. Today, if I know they're gonna send me any PR package, I'll ask them to send me only the products itself. All I wanna know is if the products works on me or not. I just have to show you guys like how much it is. These are how many boxes I got just from the past few weeks. Finally, I can see my floor, oh my god. <laughs> There's still a bunch of stuff laying on my ground, but at least I can see my bed. 
At least I can see my desk. Now I'm going out with my friends to have some late lunch. It's already three o'clock, and I'm not gonna bring my camera out because I just don't feel like it. So I'm gonna update you guys later. <coughs> I just got back, and ugh, some people been asking me uh, where I got my rose scent lotion, cause. From the few videos back, I've been mentioned that I wear a girly moisturizer for my body, and most of my uh, body lotion is rose scent. So basically, I will bought this like um, like this one is Bath and Body Works. I love this brand. So normally, when I have a chance to buy the Bath and Body Works products, I'll always get this Japanese cherry blossom. This one is my current one. My current body lotion is the rose one. I really like it, and I think the packaging is really good. And it's like a huge bottle you can use like for a long time. And this one, I also purchased one. A rose fine fragrance mist. So when you go to the hot pot, you know how much I love hot pot. I'll be so smelly. I'll be like hot pot all over my body. Then I can use this kind of mist. Oh my god, it smells so good. You can even like spray it in your room so that your room feels pretty. <laughs> and then I also got this uh, super smooth body lotion. Wait, is this lotion too? Okay, this one is like 24 hour moisture, so it's more like a thicker um, formula, so it's also rose. So you can see how much I love rose <laughs> and cherry blossom because I think these two scents are my favorite kind of scent for my body lotion. Yes, and I'm going to edit this video and upload it and then I can relax for a bit. So if you haven't subscribed my channel, please, please subscribe my channel because my goal for this year is to hit uh, 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So please subscribe my channel and definitely go to Instagram and Facebook. It's fun with Oprah to check me out. See you tomorrow. Bye.